<laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Sin with the pretty ass hair. Got me at BuzzFeed playing Truth or Dare. Mm. Kush. Mm -hmm. Some people like whips, some people like chains. You're making me blush. You're not about to get R rated up in here, BuzzFeed. You're trouble. I'm trouble. Hey, my name is Sin. I'm actually newly single. My last relationship was very toxic. My ideal guy would be someone who is very honest, someone who's very trustworthy. Hopefully you guys can help me. I need help. I'm like losing hope in mankind. <laughs> I'm Noah, I'm located in Los Angeles. And the reason why I'm single is because I just moved here. I've been here for about like four or five months. Uh, I'd love to be set up on a blind date with somebody who is educated or is interested in learning things or teaching things. Hi, my name is Jocelyn Morris. And the reason why I'm single is because the girl's been playing with me, man. The girl I hope to be matched with is someone who's funny, smart, go-getter, preferably black or mixed with to black, any type of black, please. I'm Desiree. I'm single because I'm very selective about who I choose to take seriously or really just spend my time with in general. Love to be matched with a fine man who can dress well. My name is Kiona Brown and I feel like I'm single because I don't feel like anybody's good enough for me. That's the honest to God truth. If I could uh, create like my perfect person, I guess you could say, it would be someone who is tall, dark, handsome, would be nice with a nice smile. What's going on? It's Orette, Kush here. Why am I single? Mm, no real reason. I mean, I'm a real go with the flow kind of guy. What am I looking for in a woman? Uh, definitely somebody attractive. I'm on my way to BuzzFeed, about to do this blind date, you feel me? I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited for this date, let's see if we hit it off or not. Hopefully, my blind date is someone that I wanna go on another date with. I'm so nervous, I've never been on a blind date. I'm feeling surprisingly chill, I'm not sure what to expect. I'm pretty excited, I'm kind of nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, whoa. Shit, that's good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> how are you? Good, good, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Kiona. I'm Jocelyn. It's nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know what was going on. Hi. Jesus Christ, I'm so glad that's <laughs> off and we can see each other and I can see everything in the room. I was tripping. Good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Desiree. Desiree, I'm Noah. Noah, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you, Desiree. What's uh, your name? Sin. Sin? Kush. Nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> we can wrap this up now. <laughs> okay, who's first? I mean, ladies first, right? Okay. What's a flaw about you that often ruins your relationships? If I don't get what I want, I make it known that there's a problem and you need to fix the prop. Like, I'm very, like, assertive. I could be really petty. I could be uh, spontaneously vindictive sometimes. Lack of commitment, definitely. It's like a signature Gemini thing. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I remember like <clears throat> the first man like I ever loved, we were laying in bed and I was like, you never get me no f flowers, you know what I mean? Like I was just like going off like, and he, it really scared him and it frightened him. And at the time, I didn't realize that I had done anything wrong. I thought I was doing the right thing by expressing myself. If I could have given my younger self advice, it would just be like, stop overthinking it. Just, just follow your feelings. I'm learning to, you know, just communicate more and stop trying to one up. But I can, if I feel like I'm being played, I want to I want to play harder. So oh, okay. sometimes. So tit for tat. But I feel like I've grown a lot um, from that little girl who just you know didn't really know how to communicate well. I like that you not only gave your flaw, but you also like talked about how you're like aware of it and recognizing it and changing. So that's the first step. Mm -hmm. You saw it. You accepted <laughs> it. So now, application. Yes. 
I'm kind of the same way. I feel like you my evil twin. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Okay. What's the most cringy thing you've done to get someone's attention? Oh god. <laughs> The most cringy? I feel like I've done a lot for Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most cringy though. Probably show up at their work. And I talked to his manager. I was like, have you seen him? Where's he at? <laughs> okay, I used to play college basketball, right? And there was this girl on the team that I had a crush on. She was roommates with like some other girl. And I literally was not friends with this other girl at all. But I asked her like, hey, let's like watch a show. Like, just like as friends, but like, just so I could see her. So that's pretty cringy. Like, why would I? That like, is pretty I cringy. literally didn't, like, we were not friends at all. Like, right. and randomly, I'm like, hey, let's watch this show, like, right. in your room why don't with you my just, crush. Right. Why don't you just, it would I, it make more sense for you to talk I was to like your 19. Crush. I don't know. I like sent this guy a Chipotle gift card. Yeah, yeah. In, like, in the mail, like, to his house. Like, you know, people don't send mail. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was probably really cringy. So, was it somebody that wasn't responding to your text messages and you felt like you have to pull up on him? Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't responding. Yeah. I don't okay. like not being responded to. Did you wind up talking to the girl while you were in the dorm? Um, kind of. Well, luckily for me, I guess she was showering, she walked out, like, naked. I was like, oh, my God. You know? What was his response? Yeah. He was just like, thank you. He was just like, thank you. He was just like, thank <laughs> yeah. you, so busy. Yeah. Did it work in the long run? No. What did the manager say? He was like, no, he hasn't been here. Manager was lying to my face. Oh, he got, yo, that's my <laughs> boy. <laughs> did you wind up like dating her? Yeah. You For did? For like a year and she played the f out of me, bro. Messed my whole life up. No. Like, played me, all that. She played the f out of me, it was really bad. Kiss a date. Oh, for real? Yes. If you're comfortable, I'm I'm comfortable. I'll kiss you on the cheek. Just give me a kiss on the cheek. Oh, period. Okay, I'm gonna come over. We're not about to get R-rated up in here, BuzzFeed. I know what y'all was trying to go for. Come here. I don't want to get lip gloss all over you, but... Very nice. That was very sweet. <laughs> Aww. Period. Oh, you're trouble. I'm trouble. Oh my god, yeah. Have you ever cheated on someone you loved? Why do you do it? Short answer, yes. Okay, first off, I've never cheated, but. Oh, that is always a but. <laughs> he cheated on me first. No. No, I've never cheated on someone. Period. Period. I'd say if anything, it's been like more emotional cheating or just like someone just like showing me attention where my partner wasn't. Mm -hmm. And I found out, or he didn't tell me, but I literally found out. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go. My trainer. Ah, that's why I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm with those trainers, bro. That's exactly happened, why. Yeah. In high school, I really did. I was like going on dates with someone, like uh -huh. public places. I'm from a place where we could have easily seen people yeah. that we knew. I've been the other girl and didn't know I was the other girl until I found out, and that was up. When you found out your uh, your ex cheated, how soon after did you cheat? Almost immediately after, mm. maybe like three days after. Okay. Have you ever forgotten a date's name? You did mine three times. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> I have actually. It's almost embarrassing. Like I have to pretend like I'm on Instagram to go okay. like look at like remember. Oh, so you yeah. never got caught. No never got caught, but it's happened. I believe that. <laughs> Wait, is it key key something? It's key something. Say it one more time. What was your name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious because I really forgot this is going so good. I could Kush. Kush, okay. Is it Kiona? Yeah, okay. Thank See, I got God. it, I got it. Okay, because I was, I was scared, bro. Kush definitely sounds like a player. So, I mean, we'll probably hang out, but I don't think anything serious will come out of it. But I did have a lot of fun. All right, so just got off my date. Uh, fire. Uh, definitely going on a second one. It was fun playing Truth or Dare. I think I would definitely go on a second date. The date was fun. He was cute. I definitely think he needs some more experience with um, being committed and taking his time as far as dating goes. So I don't know that I'm the woman for that role in his life, but I would be open to going on another date with him. Yeah, the date was cool. I had a lot of fun. I probably wouldn't go on a second date just because I didn't feel like there was like a real connection like that there. Sweet Jesus. Oh, I'm just still in shock. Um, Jocelyn seems very cool. Would I want to date her again? No, she's not my type.